Hello everybody, I hope you're all uh, keeping very safe at the moment with uh, what's going on there. We thought we'd gone uh, a little bit past it, but it uh, seems uh, this is just a normal way at the moment of how we need to be living with all the virus and the pandemic. So uh, just like to give you an update of uh, what's been happening here and uh, as we close to the end of the year. First of all, thank you for, for taking time to actually watch this video, really do appreciate it. And thanks for the, the great feedback many of you uh, tell me about the previous video. So appreciate the feedback, appreciate you taking your time. So what's been happening here? Uh, I mean, 2021, again, a real, real roller coaster ride. Uh, I'm glad to say I've been very, very busy. And uh, I genuinely feel for all those businesses out there who've, uh, who've suffered, you know, and yet again, uh, many of them will do in the next few months, if not longer, really. So. Uh, Let's hope sometimes uh, they can get back to some sort of normality and the business does continue and uh, we don't get too many failures out there. The motor industry, uh, uh, you've probably all seen all the news about the prices have gone straight through the roof, the, the properties, the builders. Majority of the people have been very, very, very busy. But of course, uh, with all that, uh, it's not just been busy actually. I think it's cost everybody a lot of money as well because everything's going up. The prices of houses have gone up, prices of cars have gone up, prices of all the building material, if you can get it, has gone up, hasn't it really? So um, I think we're all paying the penalty somewhere along the line. You know, um, it doesn't matter how big or small you are, we all get affected with all these increases. So uh, I'm glad to say I'm, I'm so, so busy at the moment. I've, uh, I've got, for a change, the showroom is absolutely fully packed out, as you can see behind me. Rows and rows of cars, both sides, and delighted to say the forecourt is just the same at the moment. So it's absolutely ram packed at the moment. So whatever car you're looking for, whatever price range type of vehicle you want, have a scout around the website and have a look. So that's a and thank you for all those people who've actually sold cars to me. You know, I've made it nice, quick, easy, simple. Uh, to, for you to sell cars to me. Uh, many repeat customers come back to me and sell me the cars again, and a lot of new customers again who found uh, an easy way to sell cars to me. So thank you again for selling your pride and joy to me, and that's what I want. I just want the pride and joys of everybody, and this is what I, what I tend to buy. So I'm gonna tell you a bit about uh, a stolen cat and some of the scams, and uh, things to be aware about there. This applies uh, particularly if you're selling your car Privately, just be careful uh, if you're selling it privately. Uh, obviously, you've got the usual scammers coming around. But one of the things that a lot of people don't understand is that some of these people will ring up, ask you all the details about their car, and then they'll say, I need to do a check on the vehicle, which is understandable to see if it's been stolen or it's been written off. And they'll ask you for document reference number. Please, please, please do not give that out. Absolutely crucial. I'm hearing one or two cases where this has happened recently. So as soon as you give anybody that document reference number, they can literally go online and within seconds, apply for a V5 uh, logbook, registration document, call it what you like, in their name. So literally within seconds, they could actually be the owner of that car on paper, uh, just by their document reference number. That's how quick and easy it is to lose the identity of your car. So what they do then is they're gonna go and probably steal one or go and clone another one identical to your car. And then trying to get your car back on its own original identity is an absolute nightmare. So just be aware, if you are selling it privately, never, never, never give that out to anybody under any circumstances. Doesn't matter how much pressure they put onto you to say they want to do this check, the other check or whatever, uh, you prefer, you know, they don't want to buy it off you if you don't give the, the reference number, just don't do it because you'll lose. I guarantee you, you know, they don't need that document reference number to do a vehicle check. Simple as that, really. So just be careful of that. So here's a two minute little video about a stolen cat. It's not a cat as in a uh, pussy cat, catalytic converter on a uh, performance car. Now this uh, just shows literally it takes less than two minutes to do this. Shocking, shocking and again on the main street, on my main road. So 
So this gentleman uh, didn't realise what actually happened to his car. And uh, he rang the dealer who'd sold him the car a few months by and said, uh, I started my car and sounds like the exhaust is gone, is it coming under warranty? And of course, it, uh, something like that wouldn't probably be coming under warranty anyway because it's just wear and tear. However, that's a different story. But, uh, and they had a bit of a conversation about it and they found it quite strange that just literally you park the car, it's running fine, the next morning it sounds like a tractor. So the guy went and watched uh, the CCTV footage outside his house. It's not somebody who I know to be honest with you, I've taken this off social media, just trying to show you uh, how quick and easy these people are stealing the cats. So less than two minutes, they've come well prepared, the cat's gone. Scrap value, I've no idea what it's worth, is it worth £100, £200, whatever. But the older cats, the older vehicles are worth more than the new cathode converters. And how do you stop that? Well, if your car's on the road or in a parking place where they're just so quick, and I don't really know how you would actually stop it, but it's just something else to be aware of. Of course, in this situation, in all honesty, if I was anywhere near that car, I wouldn't particularly be challenging them because if you look down where the guy's does, that's got to look like a steel bar or some sort of a weapon. I think it's better to just walk away. But Unfortunately, uh, this is what's happening out there with theft. So just be careful out there. Uh, talking of theft, you might have noticed uh, we're a little bit quiet on the Harris Motor Company side on Facebook. Unfortunately, the Facebook account for Harris Motor Company got taken over by God knows whoever. I don't know. So it's about six weeks now. I'm trying to get the account back from Facebook and his emails backwards and forwards every other day and up to today I've not been able to get my identity back to prove who I am that I own Harris Motor Company through their rigmarole of how to get the account back. Uh, why did they take it over? Well they used some of our money to do some all sorts of advertising and marketing. I'm glad to say uh, Facebook did actually refund me the money on that one but they've taken the account over so until we managed to secure the account back. Unfortunately, there won't be many posts on uh, the Harrisburg Company Facebook page. But obviously, we're on other social channels, on Twitter, and of course, the Specialist Cars account, if you want to know what's, uh, what's happening here. So, uh, what else is out there? So, uh, we're getting quite a few cars in recently for servicing MOTs where the management lights are on. Sadly, a lot of these are diesel cars. And the nature of that, what's been happening is, of course, not many people have been driving cars as normal. They've been working from home, took the backwards and forwards to uh, supermarkets to do the shopping or the local shop. Unfortunately, the DPR filters are getting blocked and causing great aggravation and great expense. So if you do have a diesel, please keep taking it for long runs. Burn that soot out of it, because then that's the only way it's going to save you money. Because as soon as the light starts coming on there, it, it starts causing issues with the sensors and then eventually the DPF. So, word of warning there, if you do have a, a diesel engine vehicle, particularly doing low miles, short journeys, go for that Sunday afternoon run, make sure you burn that stuff out. So what else am I going to tell you? Watch the tyres. Uh, we've just had a vehicle in, replaced the tyres and it's got the original tyres on. The car is 21 years old. Yeah. Uh, sadly not in a very good state um, so just be aware of tires particularly with the, with the winter months here ice and snow and frost and whatever and if you're locally please pop in we'll gladly have a look at your tires reach a check for you just make sure that you're roadworthy and again we've had uh, one or two there horror stories where people have uh, we understand you're trying to get your full money's worth but uh, just be aware of dangers and talking of tires part worn tyres. Uh, many of you have uh, heard me many many times ranting on about part worn tyres so just be careful out there with these part worn tyres. Uh, they really are a death trap in my opinion because most of these do get taken off cars which have been involved in accidents so you never see the impact so you could have a blowout on these the, side, the, the sidewalls could be weakened because of the impact. You're better off buying cheap new ones rather than buying even branded second-hand tyres because second-hand are second-hand and uh, that's how it works. 
So the other thing to tell you about is uh, if you're thinking of buying a new car, well, are you in for an extended delivery? I mean, the delivery times are just astonishing at the moment. I've been looking at uh, a couple of new cars that people want uh, me to find for them at the moment. And some of them, they're quoting eight, nine months delivery on new cars. And these are nothing special uh, as such. They are standard models, uh, production models. So it's not as if uh, they're sort of respected to the eyeball, but, you know, like a Christmas tree. So standard cars. So uh, if you're looking for a new car, um, I think uh, time is uh, get your order in now because it could be a long, long wait for you. And of course, this, the knock-on effect of the second-hand prices going up on that. And I'd also like to thank uh, some very, very patient customers out there at the moment uh, who've been uh, waiting for cars for me to source. And again, the nature of what it is at the moment, uh, some cars are just very, very difficult to get my hands on uh, that a customer is looking for. So thank you for your patience to all those customers uh, who asked me to source a car for you. Don't worry, I am working away as fast as I can, but those cars are just not on the market. And if there's nothing on the market, um, I find it difficult to, to, to sort of get hold on, really. So thanks for your patience on that. And of course, I'd like to thank uh, all those customers who've bought cars totally unseen and trusted me from hundreds of miles away. Yeah, absolutely. Hundreds of miles away, you've paid me for the cars in full before delivery and the feedback is that you've been absolutely delighted uh, with the condition of the car the whole process simply you know clicking home delivery so buying your car from the comfort of your armchair that made it so easy and transparent for you but the feedback has been phenomenal so thank you to all of you there for that and uh, if you do get uh, five minutes please just pop over to google and uh, leave me a review because your review makes a difference to the next buyer of dealing with me and of course uh, all of you have dealt with me you know we're trying to make it nice easy hassle free buying or selling cars so uh, if you just pop over to Google I'll put a link below as well uh, all those reviews are greatly appreciated thank you very much for that so that's enough for me at the moment I uh, just wanted to catch up with everybody and of course, Christmas uh, might be time for celebration for many, but uh, remember there's so, so many people out there who uh, are lonely, they're their own, they might have lost uh, the loved ones uh, recently, and it's not a celebration time for everybody, is it, um, on that. So if you've got friends and family, colleagues, give a bell, just see how they're doing. And always please do remember, if you ever want to chat, Feeling a bit down, just want to have a bit of a chat and a coffee. Please uh, pop in, have a cup of coffee, cup of tea with me. But my phone is always on. So please give me a call. Please don't feel that you're on your own out there. Happy to have a conversation anytime about anything and everything. Simple as that, really. So please stay safe out there. Season's greeted everybody, all the best for the new year and most of all thank you for your business and your support for Harris Bedford Company and Specialist Cars, it is always appreciated. Thank you very much.